Okay, so hello again, once again, YouTube friends. I'm down at the very front of the vehicle just to show you the lip on the vehicle. And as I'm taking a look at it, and my car is a mess right now, so I apologize. But I'm gonna make this video quick for you because a lot of people get this lip and they don't understand how to put it on. Look at how nice and close I have that. You don't want it sticking way out there and way out of control. You want it to be lined up with the edges on both sides, just like that. Do you see that? I'm gonna go right around to the other side and show you. Look at that. They are both lined up perfectly. That's what you want. You want that to be lined up, not out in front where it sticks out so far that it looks goofy and silly. And if you did it, I don't mean anything by it, but I just don't particularly like that. So I'm gonna show you how I got it to fit underneath. I'm gonna bring you under here and look at this. You see where all these screws are right here? This is the the, the right side, which is gonna be, or the, yeah, the right side when you're sitting in the vehicle where the passenger side is. All I did was, you take a look at these screws. This is the lip that's on the right hand side over here. That's the, the side that's right there. You can see that and that's where it comes up and then you see the red piece there? It comes right on over here. I'm gonna make a good detailed video here for you. I got this to fit underneath because if you look right over here, there's like a bump underneath your front. This is, remember, this is that side. This is your passenger side over here, okay? All I did was I cut a piece of the plastic right here, just a little seam. I just took a razor, cut it, and look at that. It fits right where this piece right here was not allowing you before. This works, and I just put a number of screws in here. That's all it is. It's that simple. Put enough screws in there. It's not going to go anywhere, and you've got it still with plenty of lip there for you but all I did was just take a look here once again from all the way over here to like right there just a little bit of space where this bump is underneath your vehicle you're gonna notice that that's what you'll have to do just cut that piece out it's so simple it's that simple look at it get a good look at it I'll sit here for a couple seconds for you that's all it is it's that simple this will be a great video for you to take a look at and understand and go from there I hope this helps you once again Take a good look. You can see that, just cut that piece out just so that it goes around, just right around here. That's it, because there's a lip there. You can feel that right there on your vehicle. It's gonna be there underneath your car. That was what was keeping your, 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 your lip up or whatever, and it just looked funny. But now you'll be able to push it all the way back so it matches on all sides. Like I'll show you here once again. I don't wanna move this. Here we go, here we go. So that way there it'll match up like this on your edges. You want that to be nice and straight. That's how you'll know it'll look good. Look at that, I mean, it looks great. I even have a spare one just hanging around in case I ever lose or break that one. But that's not going anywhere. That's it, all right? So that's the piece right there. When you get underneath there, it's gonna be a little piece that's underneath there and you just kind of just cut yourself out a little piece underneath there with a razor, okay? 